for a weekend getaway, Port Stephen is the ideal location. Hey guys, welcome to Travel Advisor. And in this video, as you guessed, we are going to Port Stephen. We added an extra day uh, to do all the activities and see interesting places at Port Stephen. So come along. So guys, we just finished our quad biking ride. It was out of the world. Swati did for the first time. So Swati, what was your experience for the first time? Well, to be honest, I was a bit scared initially, but after like 10 minutes, I was really enjoying it. It was so much fun and I just loved it. So guys, a definite to-do list to do the quad biking. So guys, we are at the marina. It's in the heart of the city. So as you can see on my left, uh, there is cruises where you can go for a dolphin and whale watch. And also there are fishing trips which you can take from here. So a very interesting place. Always uh, people are around and having fun, going into the water, having a lot of food. So it's a very good place to be with family and friends. We are at Kangan Lookup. It is a 160 meter high lookup, and from here you see the entire sand dunes and probably see up to Newcastle. Uh, it's windy today, and also it's recommended that you come during the dusk time to see the sunset. So let's check out the lookout there. Hey guys, so we are now at uh, Tomari National Park. Uh, we are going to do some uh, trails here. There are two trails. Uh, one is the Fort Tomari Walk and one is the Head Summit Walk. So both of them are around 2 to 2.5 kilometers, but one of them is a level 3 and one is a level 5. So choose accordingly. I think we'll explore the level 5 one. So let's check, check that walk.
guys we just finished the uh, summit walk and now we are headed towards the fort tomari walk so we are going that way So guys we finished both the walks it was really good but obviously the summit walk was better so if you are planning to do one walk only do that so swati what was your experience with the walk <sighs> it was a tiring walk uh, but it was a breathtaking view from there so it was totally worth it okay so now we are heading towards zenith beach so let's take this walk Okay, so we have reached the Janet Beach. So as you can see, it's a very nice beach, very calm. Okay, and not much people around here today. But it's a very good beach. And if you see on the left, see on the left, there is the uh, Tomari Walk that we did. So you can see the height <laughs> from here. Pretty amazing. So we are now at Delson Bay Lighthouse. So if you see here, this shows the first lighthouse was installed in 1872. So it has good views. So we are going to check those views out. So guys, now it's time to take a trip. So we are at Fingal Bay Beach. Uh, this is a very good beach to visit, and uh, there's a lot of activities that you can do here. And also, the good part is that when the tide is low, you can actually see it connecting to the Shark Island. So we'll give you a glimpse of that if you follow me. So there you see, there is the Shark Island, and if you see, it's a connecting pathway. So when the tide is low, you can actually walk to the. Shark Island. Uh, we are doing sandboarding here. It's pretty hot, but we are very excited to do the sandboarding. So let's check it out. Well, that was our Port Stephens trip. Hope you have enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to like the video. Also, please subscribe and tap the bell icon for more amazing videos from Travel Advisor. If you need more information, do check our description and we have a complete blog on Port Stephens. See you on the next trip. Bye. Bye.